Yeah, there. go ahead. Um, here are some more that were uh, of the same maker. Banana slices, of course. Um, all of this freeze dried, so there won't be any moisture in it. Of course, it'll be crunchy. Some of it you'll probably want to eat when it's crunchy. Uh, the sliced bananas, I probably wouldn't want to rehydrate and have. Uh, it's up to you. But uh, several different items like this. We've got freeze dried cooked shrimp. I don't know what it looks like, I don't know what it tastes like. Um, creamed beef. You know, you could put on toast, whichever. Um, <clears throat> yes, rehydrated. Yes, rehydrated. Uh, or these are freeze dried and you want to rehydrate these two. Yeah. Um, here are some canned goods that are uh, not dehydrated. Basically, here is bacon. It is actually ready to eat right out of the can. I uh, probably wish to heat it to get some of the. Uh, bacon fat or grease <laughs> melted off of it yeah. but inside this you'll get 40 to 50 thin thin slices of already cooked bacon great for camping uh, here is something where it's cooked pork chunks uh, you know this is something that you could actually store in the pantry it has a long shelf life well over five years at that point you could use it in regular meals and rotate if you wish to rotate the stock of canned goods and you could use it at any time open you, oh. heat serve uh, you could use it if you wanted to make you know, shredded tacos something like that um, be very simple to do do you have any favorites of the things that you've tried oh well um, I'd say with uh, the Mountain House brand, they have a seafood chowder that I really thought was very good. Um, we've had that many times when prospecting, and everybody really enjoyed it. Um, and it's just a, a it, matter of rehydrating it. Right, and usually that will take, it's best to use... The, some warm water, uh, hot water, and you'll have to let it sit for a little while to rehydrate. Um, but when done, uh, I thought it was excellent. You can also buy some of these things in the camping section of Walmart. They'll come in a bag. It will be maybe two servings, but those two will have a great shelf life. Probably, I want to say, seven to ten years. It's usually marked on it. But it's a good way to get an idea if what you're buying is what you actually want to eat. Yeah. So that's the big thing. Instead of buying a can, this might be 50 or $60 for this. Same thing for this, just because of what food it is. This is, you know, got meat in it. Meat is expensive. Banana slices, not that expensive. So depending on what your tastes are, uh, and of course you want to try it prior to stocking you know your your pantry or shelter with foods that you find disgusting after you've bought not a good idea so uh, there is some companies that are making some dehydrated foods in smaller cans this size uh, you might want to look for those because it will give you an indication of what you would be buying. So you may buy one can of something and go, this was good. I can buy two of the large cans. Or you may just opt to buy the smaller can and buy many of them. If you don't have a large family, this way you can use them up at your pace. As opposed to hurrying up trying to use it up within a month or less because once you open it it's exposed to everything our air is full of bacteria it will start to go bad and stale okay. so um, try in small portions before you buy in large just because it says what it what you like it may not taste the way you think it should 
So before spending a lot of money, try a smaller portion and make sure it's what you want. Okay. So. Thanks. No problem.